open seizure detector. Let's see exactly how this works. Hello and welcome to another Keto Pals. In this episode, let's discuss how to set up open seizure detector. It is a detector that uses a pebble and an additional Android device to detect your child's seizures. In this case, we'll go over the setup, installations, and things that you'll need in order to actually set this up for your child's sleep regimen. This is pretty cool because uh, it is open source. It won't be as pricey as those other uh, brands. Something like Smartwatch, for example, not only does the device cost a certain, fra uh, a certain amount of money, but it also uh, has a subscription fee. And the subscription fee could increase varied by something as simple as a GPS on there. Depending on how functional your child is, that might be a best benefit. But in this case, best use for children who don't require the GPS. So you would definitely need something like uh, this is for around the house, not really going out in public. But this will be beneficial for those who can't really afford the more expensive brands that are coming out. And I'll have more links in the description below from those brands. We ran into the open seizure detector because we were trying to find a quick fix for something uh, to track my son's uh, seizures at night so he, he doesn't sedep that could occur to a child with epilepsy. So we wanted to make sure that we could track him at night and when the alarm goes off, go running to make sure that he's still breathing or turn on his side. So we ran into uh, this open seizure detector because we're waiting for this one watch to come out in the future and i'll have the description right here um, that looks really good really uh, hopeful but doesn't come out till september so we needed something by then so in this case uh, the open seizure detector as i said is open source so you're free to use it yourself all you'll need is an android device in this case we have the galaxy note 2 that i have this is a previous phone that that i got years ago and i don't even use so any kind of tablet or um, any Android, like a, you could buy a very affordable Android device at uh, Big Lots for about 50 bucks, probably 40 bucks. And then you need to get the Pebble. In this case, this is the, this is the first version model. And let's go see how to work this. Okay, welcome to uh, the tutorial to the Open Seizure Detector. In this case, I have the Pebble right here. And I have my device that I use. You can use any device that has an Android, I believe 4.0 and above. What you're gonna do is go to the Play Store, search for Pebble to install for the Pebble software so you can pair with the device. I, what I did is I did a full factory reset so we can show you from scratch how to do this. Now I have already searched for this many times. Um, excuse my son, he's, he's in a good mood so he's crawling around and I'm gonna be making a little bit of noise in the background but that's fine. Go ahead and hit the Pebble. This is the official app. You don't need to install the old one, you can install the new one. Got to work with the new one. Okay, once the app is installed, go ahead and open it. We will now pair the device. You'll want to select the pebble that you have. Hopefully now... Gonna hit the check mark on the top of the pebble. And then it's gonna search for an update. Let the update install. Now it's continued. Let's hit continue. Select the English language for me. You want to make sure that you enable any device that it asks for you, for you to install. You can choose a watch face, and in my case, I'll just use the uh, generic one. And it'll say I'm all set. On this point, you will install the application itself. You can check to see what these notifications are. I just ignore this one. This is an app that's dedicated by Android Wear. Uh, you won't need that unless you want to use it for more than just open seizure detector. In our case, we'll go ahead and check out what we have. 
you're going to want to install the application. So in the Pebble app, go to apps, hit that little plus sign I just pushed, and then search for open seizure detector. So it would be open. As you see, when you type it in, type, you might have to type in more than just open. In my case, when I typed in open, it immediately see the open seizure detector. In your case, I had the first time I did this, I had to type in pretty much the whole thing, open, space, seizure, space detector, and search for it. When you look for it, you're going to see this notification up here. It's going to look like that when you need to install it. Select it, and at this point, you see that add? Go ahead and hit add. It will add it to uh, the device. As you can see here, it is installing it. But that's more than what we need. We actually need something. We're going to need to install the application that comes with this. You're going to go get it. Under Google Play, it will immediately directly direct, direct it to you. Hit install. Hit OK. And then let it download. It's not that big of a file. Once it installs, you go ahead and hit open, and it'll immediately start up. You'll get the notification here. You don't have to worry about that, it'll go away by itself. Once the app starts, you're ready to go. In this case, we'll have uh, the open seizure detector is running. You can tell by the device moving around, so it picks up any kind of movement. The central server. You're gonna need, this is why you need an extra device. I have my phone here, but I'm not gonna use this phone to install the Pebble or the Open Seizure Detector. Because pretty much you'll need to keep this phone close to the Pebble. So that's why you have an additional device. So why is that? Well, as I said, this is now a server. So if you look at this IP address, if you type that into any, any um, browser, if you type this in, and here's the website right there. If you type this in, let's type in, 192, ah, 192.168.21.224 port 8080. Now I've already typed this in before, that's why it immediately popped up. When I hit go, as you can see, this is the server. I'm sorry, this is the server and this is the client. So if you're sleeping, uh, you would have, you can hear the device and you can actually see what's going on here. Obviously, it looks a little bit better if you have a laptop or an actual uh, browser-based. Uh, let me let me see if I can look at it at a uh, desktop mode. There you go. Still pretty much the same. All right. So you have those values there. It'll show you what frequency you have it at, what maximum frequency you have it at, the threshold. So if it goes above a certain threshold, it goes off, and the ratio threshold. Uh, the warn time, uh, if, if you have a seizure within 5 seconds, it starts beeping one at a time. If it's 10 seconds after the 5 seconds, it starts to give you the alarm. As of right here, let's see. So, I'm going to grab it. I'm going to do a little bit of shake. And you're going to immediately see the device changing. I don't know if you can see that. Yep. Now the device kind of changes here. You can see the threshold. The spectrum is going up. This is a seizure. So I have to shake it just a little bit. It's five seconds after the 10. There's the warning. As you can see here, the client is picking up that warning. So you'll hear it when you're in bed. After 10 seconds after the first warning, there goes the actual alarm. You can see what, what's going on. The big one is there that says an alarm going off. You can see the alarms on the pebble too. And then it will stop. So you have multiple choices to use for the server. And the reason why you want a different server that's not your phone is because you're going to have to keep your server which is your phone device, your Android device, close to the Pebble so it can stay connected. If you have any other questions, please let me know. 
uh, put on the comments down below. Please subscribe. And we look. We hope you have luck with this uh, device. In our case, it does help, but it won't pick up every seizure. Uh, sometimes our son's seizures uh, is less than five seconds, so you might want to mess with the settings. In this case, you go to the right and go to settings. You go to the data source, Pebble data source, and you would change the values. We hope this app is beneficial to your family as well as your child's needs to warn you and wake you up at night. So, uh, and it reduces the chance of SEDEP occurring on your child. We look to have the other uh, watch when it comes out in September. But until then, you can get this device and it would, it would work almost as effectively. Good luck.